tutorial on how to use Zoom meeting for our students. It's much easier and has a lot more functionality than Google Hangouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into zoom.us and it'll bring you to this screen. You're going to want to sign in. And this is already compliant with FERPA and COPA and all that stuff. The school already, district already uses it for VLAX and whatnot. So we're okay to use it. When you get sign in, you're going to get to this screen and you're able to schedule a new meeting. So if you want to schedule a meeting with your students for tomorrow, let's say it's for language arts, you put in the topic language arts help session. You're going to type that in there. When you can pick the date, you can pick the time, how long it's going to be. You can change that. Uh, just have it generate the meeting ID uh, automatically. You don't want to worry about a meeting password. This is where you have to change things. You're going to want the video on for you and you're going to want the video on for the participant. Keep this as both. And here, what you can do is you can mute participants upon entry. So if they come in late and they're not making, and they're making noise, it won't flip the screen off um, of, of you as the speaker. It'll just mute them so that you won't hear them and you can keep talking and you'll, you'll hear them come in uh, with a chime. You can enable a waiting room. So if you're a few minutes late, they're not allowed into the meeting. They have to wait for you to open up the room. You can record the meeting and you can enable join before the host. And you'll save that and then you can send it out. What I'm going to do is I want to host a meeting. So I'm going to go to host a meeting with video on. I want to allow. And I'm going to wait for it to load. And I'm going to join with computer audio. And this is the screen that you're going to get. Down here, these are your controls. You can mute yourself. You can stop your video. Here, I need to invite participants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on invite. Now, the issue that I've been having is that when I go to Gmail, it's flipping to my Gmail, um, my personal account, and I don't like that and I don't want that to happen. So the easiest way that I found to do this is to hit copy invitation. It copies it to my clipboard. I close that window out. I can move this down and open. And I have Noah helping me out with this demonstration. So I'm going to click on Noah's address and I'm going to put invite to Zoom meet. And I'm going to paste it. And this is going to give him the information of how to join our Zoom meeting. And I'm going to send that off to him. Oops, did not want to open that. Um, and then I'm going to go back to my Zoom meeting. And down here, you're going to see it's going to say Manage Participants. You want to click on that. And that's going to bring this screen up. And you're going to see Mute for me and more. I can rename myself. I don't want to. Down here, this is important. With more, I can mute participants on entry. Continue. So when Noah joins, he will be muted. So he will not interrupt my lecture or whatever I'm talking about. And that's really important. I can play enter and exit on chime. So when Noah joins, um, I can hear him. I can change my view so that I can see him on top. The more people you get with the gallery view, the more that you'll have here. Um, I can lock the meeting so that people can't change things and do what, and do that. The next important thing I'm going to show you and Noah, you can hear me even though you're muted, right? Perfect. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. And this is a really neat function. I can do a whiteboard. I'm going to share my whiteboard with everybody. Noah, can you see the whiteboard? He can see the whiteboard. He's muted, so I've had, I, that's much easier. So what I can do here is I can draw. So let's say I need to do a math problem. I can draw a triangle. I can put in angles like so. I can do a text box. Noah, can you see what I've written? Perfect. Awesome. So Noah's able to see that. I can erase it. I can also save and download what I've done so that it'll save it as, um, so if students need to refer back to your lecture or your notes or whatever, that you can save it and then send it out to them. So that's really cool. When I'm done sharing my whiteboard, I can hit stop share and it'll go back to the screen. I can also do presentations. So on here, the trick is to make sure that all your tabs are open where it's got your presentation on it. And for some reason, it is not showing the screen that I want. So I am going to just take one second to close out of this. Bear with me for one second. I'm going to move this out. This is the tab that I want to make sure that's open. It's much easier if your tabs are open when you need to go and share your screen. And if all of a sudden you can't find your Zoom, 
look down on your toolbar, open it up, and there it is. And I can share my screen. And there's my presentation. And I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to share my presentation. And what I, I can move this box around so I can go to present mode. And you'll still see all your students over here. And I'm going to let it load. And then I can go through my presentation with them. And the next, what's also really cool about this is when I get to here, I've got a little embedded video and I can play the video. And Noah, can you hear the, can you hear the sound, Noah? Noah, could you hear that you couldn't hear the sound? Um, all right, I could hear it when I was playing it on my end. Um, so that, I'm not sure why he couldn't hear it on his end. Um, because normally you can hear the volume. That could just be because he's muted. I'm not sure. Um, but normally you can. But here we can present all of the slideshow. Again, when I want to stop it, I hit stop share. Now what's really nice is if I throw up this chat box, I can say, hi, Noah. And everyone will see it. The other thing I can flip to is I can just flip to Noah and it's private. So I can say, hi, Noah. And he'll see that but nobody else on the thing will uh, see that. If I need to share a homework assignment with Noah, just to know something that I've graded or that he needs to see, what I can do is I can go into my Google Drive. It'll bring up my Google Drive and I've got this right here, my remote, I'm gonna do this. I wanna choose that. I'm gonna allow it. Now, Noah, can you see the file that showed up? Yes, so he can see the file. If I didn't want to share it privately, I would share it with everyone in the meeting. So that's a really cool way to do it. And the participant, you can also do this. If you don't want your participant to chat with other people, you can click on no one. He can't chat with anybody. If you want him to be able to um, the host only, I can do that. So he can only chat with me. And if I want him to be able to chat with all of his friends or whatever, that. And you can also make sure that they don't, they're not able, you don't click this one because that way they can chat privately. They can do that on their own time. So that is how you use, I can also record the meeting and I can also use reactions. I can applaud and I can give a thumbs up. And Noah has that as well. Noah, can you show the reactions on yours? I'm going to turn them off. Let me click. I'm gonna click. Show me. There you go. The other thing Noah has, it's really cool that students have. Noah, can you raise your hand for me? He's raised his hand. And now he's got a question. So what I can do is I can unmute him. He can ask his questions and I can lower his hand. And that way I know then he's asked his question. So when you've got all these thumbnails, you can watch your students see and do their raise their hand and lower their hand. And it's really nice because you've got the control. Now let's say you want to give your students control. I could make Noah the host of the meeting. I'm not going to do that right now. But you could make your students the host of the meeting if you wanted to. So that is a really quick overview of Zoom meeting. I'm going to, when you're done with the meeting, you can say bye to everybody and you can click end meeting and that will end the meeting for all. And you're all done with the meeting and it'll go right to this. And that is how you use Zoom video.